Oh, hey, you're here. I wasn't really expecting you to be so early. What's that look for? Okay, so I'm a bit late. But you know I like to be at least a little late to these things. You know, to build the suspense a little. And it's not like you were any better. You were always late when we were pretending. Well, yeah. I guess you do have a point there. I'm sorry. There's just a lot I need to get used to actually dating someone I care about. It's just a bad habit from my time with Todd. I promise, no more coming to our dates late. Also, I'm sorry if I sounded a bit snarky there. It's kind of a defense mechanism, thanks to having to act rude to everyone all the time. Honestly, being with someone as nice as you is kind of a culture shock for me. <laughs> Although... I do have to ask, why did you ask me to come to this random spot in the outskirts of the city? I could barely find this place on my GPS, and there doesn't seem to be much of anything out here. So, why here, of all places? Uh, is that a blindfold? I mean, sure, I guess I can wear it, but you better not take me anywhere weird, alright? Alrighty, lead the way. Alright, now we're moving. I'm starting to get a little nervous now, if I'm being honest. I mean, this is basically my first real date, considering I barely did anything with Todd even when we did go out. It makes me feel kinda... giddy, I guess you could say. Oh, and also, because I can't really see where I'm going, Oops. <laughs> Looks like I tripped. No, no, I'm fine. I just wasn't expecting to climb a hill like this. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should just take off my blindfold so I don't hurt myself. Are you okay with that? You have a better idea? And what's... Wait, what are you- whoa? Jeez, you scared me. I wasn't expecting you to just pick me up like that. If there's one thing I can be certain of now, you're definitely not the complete shut-in I thought you were. I doubt anyone would want to bully you anymore now that you're this strong. Oh, we've stopped? Well, I guess you have to put me down now. Though I kind of wish you didn't have to. Hey, I didn't say anything. <laughs> God, just put me down already. So... This means I can take off the blindfold now, right? Alright. But, I've got high hopes, so try not to dis- -a This hill. I... No, it's not that I'm disappointed. It's actually the opposite. It's just that this view of the city... 
It's breathtaking. What is this place? It's your quiet place for when we went too far. That only makes too much sense. I'm sure even someone like you has his limits. Thank you for sharing this place with me. It means a lot. So, what's the plan? You got anything special up here? Wow, you made a picnic for us? All by yourself? You really planned all this out, didn't you? I'm impressed. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't apologize because you couldn't afford some fancy restaurant. Honestly, I'm glad you didn't. I've been getting tired of all those fancy places the popular group went to on daddy's credit card or whatever. Not to mention, I couldn't even afford to go half the time because my part-time job pays peanuts and I was trying to buy a car at the time. I like things more simple. So, this was a great surprise. But, that's enough about my unfortunate financial situation. Why don't we just take a moment to really appreciate the view here as we let the wind go by. You know, speaking of my former friends, have you heard about what happened to Todd? Last I heard, he's been a crying mess since last week. It's good that he finally gets what happened, but I've been thinking, and I think he might deserve an apology. Now, now, hear me out. It definitely won't be anything about what happened last week. For all that, he can go screw himself. No, it's about how I treated him when we were together. Something you should know about being popular is that everyone's going to hound you if you're not dating. Oh, Lizzie, if you're one of us, you gotta have a boyfriend. Oh, Eliza, my beloved, please pick me to be your boyfriend. Got so sick of it all. I just picked Todd to get it out of the way. The plan was simple at first. I'd just give him a bit of attention here and there, and he'd help me get my reputation up. I didn't actually care about him. He was rude and insensitive. He would be rough with me when we tried to cuddle. It just wasn't a good experience. But at least at first, he actually cared about the relationship, unlike me. I barely let him touch me, let alone kiss me. I started showing up late to our dates because I didn't want to see him any longer than I had to. Point is, even though he wasn't really a good boyfriend, I was worse. When I think about it, it almost makes sense that he'd turn on me, you know? So... I just want to apologize to him for not treating the relationship with the basic respect it deserved. I just wish I'd found someone like you before. Reliable, kind, smart. Actually, now that I think about it, I just wish I'd found you before. I doubt there are many other people like you that are the whole package. Though, I guess that was a little hard when our positions force us to hate each other. Or, at least, I was forced to hate you. I doubt it took much for you to hate me. Sweetie, 
I appreciate the sentiment, but we both know I could be a real hard ass at times. Honestly, I still find it a bit crazy how you could forgive me after all I did to you. I mean, it's one thing to forgive someone, but at least have a little bit of self-respect. After I ruined that date you had all that time ago, I lost all hope of you even talking to me, let alone helping me. Yeah, I know. Tough subject. But I do have to let you know, you absolutely dodged a bullet with that one. What am I talking about? Oh, boy, do I have a story for you. So, Mary, that girl that wanted to give off that girl-next-door vibe that the boys used to eat right up, there was always something about that girl that just pissed me off like nothing else. But when I brought her up to my old friends, they always just brushed me off. I didn't even understand it until I caught wind that she asked you out. Then, I really got to know what she was like. Huh? Why? Well, at the time, you were kind of a nobody. Why would someone who was famous for rejecting every guy that approached her suddenly ask someone like you out? N no, I wasn't jealous. Okay, Maybe a bit jealous, but that's not the point. I sent Megan out to look into her, and lo and behold, pretty little Mary was a pretty little liar. She was working with the popular group to embarrass you as painfully as possible. You already know by now that I didn't like them escalating the bullying, and you probably remember what happened next, right? Yep. She sure was surprised when someone accidentally broke the lobster tank that was conveniently behind her and got the lobsters all over her dress. <laughs> Served her right, I say. Ah, I remember it like it was yesterday. And the picture that was sent to the tabloids was just priceless. Hell, I think she moved after that one. <laughs> that whole story, and you're still able to sympathize with her, huh? So naive. Now I can see how you were able to forgive me. But, you know, that's one of the things I love about- Like? One of the things I like about you, I meant to say. You didn't, um, hear that last part, did you? Oh my god, I can't believe I actually said that out loud. Damn it, Lizzie. You weren't supposed to say it this early. Now he's gonna think you're crazy. Whoa, um, you're grabbing onto my face. <laughs> What's going on here? You're looking into my eyes so intensely. Oh, come on. You know I hate the silent treatment so much. Tell me I'm crazy for saying I love you so early. Just say something. You... love me too? Uh... I don't even know what to say. I... You know, the sunset is really beautiful, but I think I'd rather look into your eyes a bit more. Just, uh, loosen your grip a bit, please. <laughs> Thanks. Jeez. 
What did I do to deserve an amazing guy like you? I treated you like crap, but you are still so amazing to me. I love you.